Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of the horror series. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Uh, last time we set up uh, with a salmon system and also a flashlight or torch battery system. So if a torch goes on, you can see it drops down uh, in segmented sections. Uh, one thing I think we do need to fix is it does start with the uh, the bars on and then obviously when you use it first and then turn it off, that's when it goes. So that's the first thing we're going to be fixing. Uh, so if we go into user interface and into the in-game HUD, uh, click on one of your bars and scroll down to render opacity and set it to zero. Make sure that you're not selecting any of your animations. You know if you are because there'll be a big blue border. So if we click on animation, big blue border. So make sure there isn't a, uh, a border there. Uh, click on both of these and set them to zero. That means by default they are set to zero. Then as you bring them in and as you bring them out. That will be uh, how they're set, so that's all good. Uh, next thing we need to do is our actual uh, episode for today, which is to allow hiding. Uh, so we're going to set up a, a hiding system, which is going to be part of... It was a bit similar to Alien Isolation, where you can go into a cupboard and see out and see what's happening. Um, so for that, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a well, the cupboard itself. Uh, and we're going to need to do some coding on it. So, in our content browser, if you create a new folder and call it Blueprints, because this is where we're going to be storing all of our uh, interaction, all of our, or basically anything that does anything in the game, uh, we're going to create a new Blueprint. We're going to call it uh, Plain Actor. It's going to be BP underscore Cupboard. And we're going to go into it. So first thing we need to do is we need to actually build the cupboard itself. So we're going to grab a cube. Make sure it's on 50. Obviously, when you do your full game, you'll be using a special mesh for this, not using uh, just basic cubes. But for obviously for this, we shall use this. Okay, I, as you can see, I have now made the cupboard. Uh, I took a free model for the door, but you can also use a uh, the start content door as well. That also works. The main thing is that the pivot is on, obviously, the hinge, uh, so that when you open it up, it does actually open as a door, uh, which is quite an important thing. Uh, so we're going to start this open, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a variable here. We're going to call it open, question mark, and we're going to have... In the construction script, uh, this is going to be minus 60 when it's open and minus 180 when it's closed. So in the construction script, we want to go open and get a branch. Or even better, if we use a select node. And we want to grab the door and set relative uh, rotation. Drag it into there. And now, if it's false, we want minus one. Uh, so true is what, as it is now. Sorry, closed is false, which is minus one eighty, which is the same as one eighty. And true is when it's open, uh, which is minus sixty. Compile and save. So now, if we Start ticking this, we should see it open and close. Excellent. So we can set it off as open. And just so we can test this, we should be able to go in and fit nicely with the door there. Okay, so in order for us to work this, we need to do two things. One, we need to make sure that we're moved into the cupboard, or we can have it where it teleports us. So either way, we're going to need to interact with the cupboard itself, even if it's just the door, so you close the door on yourself. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a blueprint interface, which is something that you can use to create an event in all sorts of uh, blueprints. So if we go to... Uh, in our blueprints under 
blueprint. We want to create a new blueprint interface. We're going to call this if underscore interactable. And in here, we're going to do on interacted, uh, compile and save, and that's the interface completed. If we go into our cupboard blueprint and go to class settings, we can choose what interfaces it has. So if we add uh, if interactable and compile, now when you go into the event graph, you can have uh, event on interacted, which will call when we use that interaction. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get the door. We're going to add a timeline just to make it nice and smooth. And we're going to add a branch. If it's open, we want to reverse from end. And if it's closed, we want to blow from start. Set relative rotation and the update. And now this is where we need to change uh, the rotation from the door from where it is to where it's going to be. So for this, we need to get a LERP rotator and we need to go from open. So if it's open, it goes, if it's closed, then it goes from the start. So it wants to start off in the closed position. Which is 180. And open to one, uh, minus 60. Double click on the time frame and we'll, we want it to close quickly. So we're going to do a one second float track. Shift and click twice. And set the first one to zero zero and the second one to one one. Click these two buttons to even it out, and you can also press one hovering over both of these to turn into a curve. Compile and save, and that should be the door nice and easily done. Uh, so what it's going to do is, if it's closed, it's going to play from the start from closed to open. If it's open. It's going to go from the end, which is from open to close. Drag the new track into your alpha, and that is the door complete. Now we just need a way of starting this event. So, in our player controller or our player character, going to need to make it so that we can interact. So same as we've done with the uh, flashlight, we need to go to the input, actions, duplicate one already, IA underscore interact, then go back to IMC default, IA interact, click the keyboard button and press your button. Now in the third person character we can go IA interact and we get the and we get the option here. Under started we want to do a line trace. By channel. And we'll fill in these uh, destinations in a second. And we want to break off the out hit. And under the hit actor, we want to Pass to IF interactable. So this is saying if whatever this hits is interactable, then we want it to uninteracted. Hello. Hi, Linda. 
Uh, no, we're not. We we have yes. No worries. Cheers. Bye. Okay, so for the line trace, there's going to be two things that we need to do. Uh, so we want to get our player camera. So get which is a get player camera manager. And we need to get its forward vector. So there's two things we need to get. So we need to get our player camera manager. And we need to get that location. So get actor location. And that is going to be our start. Next up, we need to get our forward vector of that camera and we need to multiply that by a float single or double doesn't matter uh, 400 so it will go 400 units and then we need to make sure that it is from our actor location so if I do that now you can see it is exactly where the middle of the screen is that the uh, that the cast is pointing to. And if we go over to the door, okay, it does interact, it's obviously not doing it right. So we do. We'll add that and what we also need to do is we need to when it's finished set it to what it's not and there we have it if you want to make it a little bit easier to close when you're inside, you can add a, uh, a collision box. It's called collision. It, do it doesn't necessarily have to do anything. The All it is for is our if it lets me grab it. Uh, just so you can interact with it while you're inside. Change the, uh, the trace responses to block. Now you can open it from the inside. Okay, guys, and that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, hit like. If you disliked it, that's the way it is, but hit dislike. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.